Another one of those things that I've acquired and had no place to put them as I acquired them is my nail guns and some other air tools. So they've been laying around my shop. So what today's goal is, is to get another cabinet that stores all of this and also fits underneath the workbench. So let's get started. When I first started this, I really didn't have a good idea of what I wanted the inside of this cabinet to be like. But I did find a photo on Facebook that had a great idea. But unfortunately, the creator of that was not credited in that photo. But I can't wait to show you what this thing turns out like. Look at how crooked that is. That's going to be a lot of fun to deal with. So right here I'm using 3 quarter inch plywood and I'm cutting out the top, bottom, and the sides to this cabinet. It's pocket hole drilling time. For these quick and dirty shop cabinets, I really like to use pocket hole joinery. It's a really good, strong source of joinery. Um, and with these shop cabinets, I don't have to put a lot of focus into hiding the pocket holes. So it's a no-brainer, the way to go for shop cabinets. When working with pocket hole screws, they tend to make your piece slide away from the pocket side and misalign your alignment just a little bit. Um, I found a way to compensate for that and get it to land where I want it to most of the time. Uh, they do make some handy clamps to use that will take care of that if you're working with a tight tolerance. Do you even feel a sense of accomplishment if you don't give your piece a little slap after you're done doing something? Alright, you might have noticed that I have pocket holes drilled out the whole way around the front of this box. And that's because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together a face frame that's going to go on this. Uh, the uh, cabinet that I made in the last episode, uh, I didn't need a face frame for it because the drawer, uh, the drawer fronts were going to cover everything themselves. So for this one, I'm going to build a face frame, and that's going to give it a little more stability for the doors. For this, I'm throwing scrap together that's around the shop. I'm even using pressure-treated wood mixed with regular poplar. Yeah, that's the level we're going with here. Pocket hole drilling time. All right, so now let's put this brace frame together. Um, before you start, figure out which side you want to be the outside of your wood and uh, put that side down and I uh, take one of these handy dandy clamps for pocket holes hold her together like that drive it home 
I should note that when working with pocket hole screws, it's really important not to over drill in that hole. Um, if you do, it can punch through the face of your piece. Pocket hole screws really use as much of that wood as possible to hold it together. So there's no tolerance there for you to punch in there a little bit further. You will come through the face of your piece. All right, so remember that crooked piece of wood that uh, I had earlier? This is where that gets interesting. Because of that wood being so crooked, I have to get creative with a bunch of clamps and weights and stuff to try to uh, get everything to line up perfectly with the face frame and the backing and use the face frame and the backing to pull that all straight again. I really like those little Harbor Freight clamps, the little ones that I'm using on the, in the middles. Um, Harbor Freight tools, some offense, their, their prices are great, but their quality is absolute trash. They always end up failing on you, but these little clamps have been a real diamond in the rough. I think I'll probably go back and buy about another 40 of them because I think they're like $3 a piece. They are awesome. No sponsor, just a recommendation from one woodworker to another. All right, so now it's time to put the back plate on this thing. Give that piece a slap. All right, so at this point I got my doors cut out and I'm going to uh, start drilling some holes for some, some uh, drawer hardware. And then we'll get these things installed. It's super helpful to pre-drill these holes before you try to drive that screw in. Now what I need to do is attach some door handles. Fortunately, I have some of this left over from the last project.
this is where I work on that cool idea I found on Facebook. I wish I knew the creator that come up with this idea. If you know who it is, please drop their name in the comments below. Alright, here's the finished piece. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I have a little more space in there than what I actually thought I was going to have. I actually have room to uh, add some more nail guns if I wanted to. If you like this project and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to uh, let you know whenever I post another video. Uh, if you would done anything differently, please let me know in the comments below. I'm interested to hear your ideas. Alright, till next time.